Hello everyone, welcome back to another song reaction. This is taken from my April submissions here on r slash Alex Heights. Head on over here if you'd like to post your own song or album reaction suggestions. We are all the way down here. We're doing one track per user. I really strongly consider doing Mount Erie because, uh, uh, well, because and not because, um, I am going to do a microphones binge at some point and I will probably include Mount Erie albums in that binge as well. So I figure, you know what, maybe I'll hold out on that one for now because I'm not planning on reacting to Sparkle Horse on this channel, at least not yet. Um, Mark Linkus, rest in peace, uh, died in March of 2010, uh, was uh, part of this, uh, what is it called, compilation thing? You know what I'm talking about, right? The dark thing, the, where is it? Man, I know what I'm talking about, I swear. Um, dark Night of the Soul, that's what it is, with uh, Danger Mouse. Uh, and a lot of interesting people involved as well with all of these different tracks. Um, but yeah, it's a wonderful life. I've heard Piano Fire because it was in Life is Strange, oddly enough. And uh, who knows if that put people on to Sparkle Horse. I don't know. I have a whole thing with, uh, like, especially, like, case in point, the obvious one recently being Running Up That Hill from Stranger Things. Um, I... Uh, let me put it this way. Tell me what you think in the comments of this. I don't mind if some popular media introduces more indie or artistic artists and bands to people uh, who would otherwise have not heard them. And so a lot of people got to hear Kate Bush from Stranger Things Season 4 and they were like, Oh, hey, Running Up That Hill is an amazing song. I love this. I'll go check out Kate Bush. That doesn't bother me. What does bother me are the people who they watch the se the season four Stranger Things and they're like, okay, uh, Kate Bush, I like this. Okay, fine. If they had been introduced to Kate Bush without the context of it being in a show that they liked, they would dismiss it or have a negative reaction. That's what upsets me. Because the context of the show shouldn't impact the way you view the song. Um, that's just how I feel. Uh, let me know what you think. So... Uh, Piano Fire, Fire song, honestly, it's pretty good. Featured in Life is Strange, so I'm somewhat familiar with Sparkle Horse. The track before it is Gold Day, which is the one that we will be doing now. Uh, so anyway, if you guys end up enjoying this video, please do these things as it helps out the video and the channel immensely. Uh, this one, yes, okay. Uh, so let's go ahead and give this song a listen. See if it's anything like Piano Fire. child stay with me a while you not got any place to be won't you sit a spell with me you've got diamonds for us it's time for you to rise Sun. Sometimes it can weigh a ton.
Wow. Wow. You know, I gotta say, that's quite good. Uh, I like that more than Piano Fire, even. Um, like, borderline, like, I, anyone who's watched my channel a while will know, like, I don't really like wet, mouthy vocals. Um, I don't like ASMR at all. Like, that does the negative to me <laughs> for people than, than other people. Um, and, like, I barely, like, it's weird. Like, bands like Modest Mouse, Isaac Brock, who I've reacted to a lot of Mo Modest Mouse albums on this channel, um, that doesn't bother me as much. Because even though he has a lisp, he's not super mouthy. This was a little more mouthy and wet. Uh, but I was kind of able to, like, slip into that same Modest Mouse feel and kind of channel it that way so it didn't bother me a bunch. Um, that's really my only, like, criticism, which isn't really a criticism. It's more of a disclaimer about how I feel about it. Um, I liked the chamber elements there. Like, Piano Fire didn't really have much of a chamber element to it. It was a little more noisy. And it's we have the chamber pop uh, classification on here. And I can see that angle, and I really like it. Um, especially given that this is a 2001 album, there's a very specific type of nostalgia in this kind of sound and this kind of songwriting and song structure. Um, yeah, I thought that was very good. I'm very eager to listen to this album in full actually, uh, because like I said, I didn't know if this would be anything like Piano Fire and it wasn't. So I'm glad for that. I, I liked the sentimentality and the melancholy of that track. I think it was, uh, very nice, very nice. Anyway, that's all I got for you guys. Hope you enjoyed. Do these things if you haven't done them already. And uh, that's it. That's all I got for you. So until next time, Godspeed.